Hanuman, okay. Which means that there are some elements of your power that cannot be explained by current theory. Although this may lead to a discovery that alters the very fabric of Crest research. Oh, pardon me, Professor. I became lost in thought, and I do tend to ramble. I suggest we call it a day. Do you concur? No, no, you mustn't push yourself too hard. When you are not in battle, you are so often here with me. I get so energized speaking with you. Well, I must remember to pull my head out of the clouds. That said, perhaps we should discuss things unrelated to crests from time to time. Some sort of silly, lighthearted topic might be nice, eh? I'm not especially skilled at small talk, alas. Let me see. Perhaps we should discuss... Hmm. I know. Food. Not my strong suit, the culinary arts, but I do enjoy a good meal. Which kind of food do you prefer, Professor? Sweet or spicy? Sweet. Same as myself. Yes, indeed. Oh. Now my stomach is growling. An old colleague of mine theorized that those who bear crests favor sweet flavors over spicy. She suggested that the crest exerts some manner of influence over... <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there I go again. How embarrassing. We were supposed to be avoiding talk of crests, weren't we? Terrible habit of mine, finding a way to turn any conversation towards crests. I really should find a way to stop that. Hanuman, it's been how many years? Like 50 plus something. We're not going to teach an old dog new tricks. It's okay. That is kind of you, Professor. But it's all right. If you were to lose your patience with me, it could have an incalculable impact on my research. That sort of thing has happened in the past, you know. Back when I was still in the Empire. At first... Any lady I was spending time with would titter and say she didn't mind if I talked about crests. But at some point, she would always become fed up and stop listening to what I had to say. In the end, invariably, while I was particularly focused on my research, she would write to say we were done. That sounds like a you problem, Hanuman. We're not gonna romance you. I will do everything I can to keep <laughs> that from happening this time. Can I finally get my Gilbert support? No. Wow. Oh, hi, Professor. Do you remember what we talked about before? About doing my best to not do my best? Well, I've been pretty busy recently, and despite my best efforts, I've been trying way too hard. I was busy all day yesterday with training and work. I just couldn't help myself. That's why I decided to take a day off today. It's just, now that I have a day off, I don't know what to do with myself. Please, you have to help me. What should I do? Oh god, she's one of those people. <laughs> tried that. I couldn't calm down enough to fall asleep. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm cut out for not doing my best. Oh! You're a professor. You must know some secret technique for deep relaxation, right? If you do, please teach me. I'm begging you. I'm at my wit's end. <laughs> I know, right? My guardian it's like, well, um, I do actually know one person, uh, City, if you're watching this, um, we see you. <laughs> Seriously, my, my current boss, he's like, he goes on vacation and eight hours in, he's working again. It's like, some people, some weird people just are like that. <laughs> but I, I cannot relate. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Got it. I'll try that right now. 
I think we need an Osha sign for Annette. We need an Osha sign for Annette that says it's been zero days since Annette worked herself to exhaustion. Oh, and speaking of the tea, your brewing skills are incredible. I'd love to be able to make such nice tea, but oh, Professor, will you teach me how to brew tea like this? I'll do my best to learn, and then I'll make delicious tea for you as thanks. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Back to my old tricks, it seems. So, oh, why is it so difficult to not do my best? To try and try to not try, but it just doesn't work. So we're coming from a support with somebody who can't stop talking about crests, or somebody who can't stop working. <laughs> I see a theme here. is just not my style to be myself i've got to do my best every day okay then you really must teach me how to make such delicious tea Yay. you will won't you please oh and also well we're encouraging the workaholic win for the team you listen to me and help me face my troubles <laughs> Now I feel like I can talk to you about it. Please don't. I have like honestly. I wish we could go on drinking tea like this forever. I have something like 30 other te uh, students to teach Annette. I'm sorry. We got to go. <laughs> okay, but I'm starting to think since we have now gone entire days without getting a support that we probably already had the chance to watch Gilbert's support and just didn't take it. That went pretty well, I guess. Oh, you did? And now we won't get the chance again until we actually, like, manually watch it. So I guess we'll have to get that out of the way. Because it's not going to come up by itself. I get it. Oh, nice. She learned a lot stance. Too bad we're never going to use her in combat. Um... Yeah, so let's get the support out of the way because it's clearly not happening any other way. And do we still have support with... Oh, Ferdinand. Same deal, I guess. We never watched it because otherwise we would have gotten it automatically. Um, the reason why I usually wait for these to come up by themselves is if you... The first time the support pops up as available, if you take it right then and there, you will get a full motivation bar. Like 100% motivation. So I usually wait for the support to come up by itself. But if it hasn't come up yet, that means we didn't actually um, we didn't actually watch it when it came up. So we need to get it out of the way before we can do anything else. So we gotta watch those two, Ferdinand and Gilbert. Take that! I am in a hurry. Edelgard claims victory after victory. She never stops. Five years ago, she ascended the throne and swept away the corrupt nobles, my father included. I always thought I would be the one to unseat him. But she did it instead, with all the ease and indifference of someone cracking an egg. She put my father under house arrest. She stripped House Iyer of its power. Rather than accepting a role as her puppet, I left. Now I fight to topple the Empire. The disparity between Edelgard and myself is... obvious. She never stops moving forward. Single-minded. Never wavering. That is not something you should emulate, Ferdinand. That you should really stop comparing yourself to Edelgard. It's not healthy. But where does that leave me? Here, flailing about, going nowhere, contributing nothing. But it is. That is the reality. No, it's not. You're being a very valuable member of the bench. Not once since our days at the Academy have I exceeded Edelgard's abilities. I saw her as a worthy opponent. She did not even see me as a contender. She did not even consider me at all. As the head of the noble House Iyer, I must be able to achieve results. 
but all my efforts have come to nothing. Results are everything. I have not shown results, so I will be stagnating here forever. Hmm. I appreciate that, but it is not enough to persuade me. I know that I have a massive wall to climb, and I must climb it alone. Even so, may I ask a favor? Professor, please keep an eye on my progress. I would appreciate if you were always by my side, bearing witness to my accomplishments. Well, first you have to accomplish something. Also, I am still instructing your Ferdinand, so I haven't forgotten about you. I am sorry to make you tag along with my shopping trip like this. You are very kind to offer your help, even though this is my duty. I will someday repay you for this kindness, though I fear there may not be so many things I can help you with. I would be glad to. However, I would likely learn more from you than you would from me. You made a living as a mercenary under Captain Gerald's guidance. As a comparatively new member of the Knights of Seros, I was not so familiar with his past exploits. Yet, clashing swords with him, even just a handful of times, was enough for his abilities to astound me. You, as one trained by him, must have those same great talents. I have devoted my life to the path of a knight, yet I find your mercenary experience lends your blade... <laughs> Wait up! Catching me is a chance! Come on, this way! To this way! Even in dark times such as these, children can find joy. Was I smiling? Gilbert can join us in the almost does not know how to smile club. Please, forget you saw that. I do not have the right to such pleasures. Indeed, for those we have lost will never be able to smile again. I am sorry. I did not mean to trouble you with such talk. Come, let us head back. So, like I said, everybody in the Blue Lions needs therapy, including the seasoned war veteran and father. They all need therapy. Alright, um... This is another day for battle. Uh, okay, let's go. First of all, certifications. Um, she cannot get into Falcon Knight. 52%. Nah, nah, nah. We're not gonna do that. Um, Sylvain. Finally! Our first... Do we actually... Can we actually buy seals? Can we buy master seals, please? We can, actually. Five. Okay. Oh. We don't have enough money. Uh, Okay, let's buy two then. <laughs> um, we can get Sylvain into Dark Knight, which is good because that means his speed uh, growth penalty will go down from minus 10 to minus 5. And he will now be able to use magic in battle. Huh. Nice. Although that outfit looks supremely uncomfortable, like that's just a lot of spikes in a lot of places where I would not want them. Um, she can't go. She can't go yet either. I don't think so. Or she could become a dark flyer. I am almost tempted to put her in that class, <laughs> except I want to save my abyssal seals for the people who actually need them. And Ingrid can become a Falcon Knight. Let's go. I must 
Continue to work hard. Yay! All right, finally she could get out of her beginner class, uh, her intermediate class. Sorry. Oh, and she can get onto a wyvern. Nice. She can get into Pegasus Knight. She's only gonna be there for her Paralog, but um, yeah, the sooner we can get her into that, the better. And Gilbert, we're gonna save before we try to put Gilbert into this class. Yeah, th uh, the gap between Pegasus Knight and Falcon Knight is just weird. I think there was actually a class. A, a Pegasus advanced class, but it was scrapped before launch, so sad. Would have been nice to have an advanced class for Pegasus riders as well. 74%, let's try it. I do want to get him out of the armored classes. Yes. Finally, more movement. <laughs> Success. And he got three speed points just for leveling up. Wow. That is actually kind of awful. Because that tells you how much speed he had, or more importantly, how much speed he did not have. Okay, but that's good. So now we might actually be able to tackle some Paralox, because... Really, I just wanted him in better movement classes. Um, let's see. Which ones do we have? Weather Winds of Fodlan, Dividing the World, and Thieves at the Throat. Well, we're not gonna. We're gonna leave the Weather Winds of Fodlan alone for a little longer until we get Annette, hopefully, onto a horse. Um, but Dividing the World is a level 19 battle, so we should be able to do that. Um, and this, of course. And then we can do the monster battle and try to get the last um, rare enemy. So let's start with the paralog actually. Let's start with dividing the world. This one is one of the most solo unfriendly paralogs in the entire game. Like if you're playing this solo, you will not be able to complete this paralog. Hey professor. I might have to go back home for a little And if you're playing it as a duo with two people, it is still extremely difficult. We'll get into why in just a bit, but also the lead up to this is completely fucked up. Is there some kind of emergency? Well, that's one way of putting it. The Almiran forces are causing trouble at Fodlan Blocker. Oh, do you know where that is? Well, the mountain range that separates the Alliance from Almira is called Fodlan Throat. There's a fortress right on top of the throat, and they call that Fodlan's Locket. Well, yeah, you could say that. I'm sure my brother would be able to handle them on his own, but he said he really wants me to help out. I guess he's a bit tired out from all his hard work. Anyway, our dad's not as sprightly as he used to be. He's not up for a fight. Apparently, it would look bad if we left it to the retainers. I really, really don't want to go, but I guess I have to. Hey, Hilda. I, well, I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but I heard you talking. Hmm? Oh, what's up, Kiro? You're gonna fight the Almirans, yeah? Yes, but it's nothing you need to worry about, Kiro. It's not that. I was just wondering if... If maybe I could maybe go along with you. But you'd be fighting people from your homeland. Do you really want to do that? None of them would remember me anyway. It's just that I got captured in the battle at the locket, and that's how I ended up here. So I'm kind of worried that other kids who lose their folks might not be so lucky. Before Lady Rhea took me in, 
I had a real hard time as a servant of House Goneril. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's not like I'll go around snapping up all Myron's children. We don't get the exact explanation of what a real hard time means in this dialogue, but in his supports you learn that literally he sometimes went an entire day without eating, he barely had time to sleep, they basically worked him like a slave. And Hilda's response to that is, I'm sorry to hear that, it's like, ma'am, you just found out that apparently your family is in the habit of snatching up children from battles in your territory and then treating them like shit. Like, this is not an appropriate reaction, okay? That's good, but I just... I want to see things for myself, so I know that everything's okay. Hmm. Well then, let's go together. Oh, would you want to join us, Professor? Yes. My brother will be there, but I'm a little scared about fighting all those fierce Almirans. If you could come too, it'd be really great. We'd all feel way safer if you did. I am definitely coming with Great. you. Great. I know we'll be okay if you're there. Let's head out right away. To make sure I'll go and get ready too. That you're not snatching up any more Amiran children. <laughs> 